Hi, we're back again and hopefully my eyes are better. Um, today we would be discussing my personal workflow, how I prep from commercials from prep to delivery. I'll just take a case study from a sample project that I've done and we'll walk through all there is that I used to know. So usually this will cover my processes and these are basically my thoughts. They are not like the golden standards. Everybody has a little bit of a way they do theirs. You get it because we are all, it's always about um, optimizing your process and improving on what you on intuitions of what you um, do because some jobs you get and you find out why you don't get them and you improve on where you were found lacking and you just keep adding the blocks till hopefully you don't get to do all the jobs because I don't know that could lead to a burnout but at least you get a good chunk to keep you at bay and keep you happy so basically in the process as a director for commercials what you usually do you are a paid executor it's not like a film a film you bring your intentions and you are you have like a lot that you have writing on you because in this case there's like um for film processes from the director's idea his vision to screen but from with this you're working with a brand an agency who would have thought out what's the best and the agency seeks out directors that they think are perfect for the execution of that spot or for the sake of um, this video we'll call it for the brief so you're lucky enough you get an email in your inbox it start with a brief in this case I'll be using this um, the script that we worked on for um, a YouTube spot which is called the hero ninja script so you receive a script that has like this sample and you take your time and you go through the script and you look at all there is sometimes they come they don't usually come like this some come with visuals and some do not come with visuals but in this case this came with visuals that gives like pointers and ideas on what you're supposed to do so you go through the script and you look at everything that there is to offer for the script and um, you make sure you digest it and then you go to the next phase I would not try and read through this, but you could screenshot it and like take a pause and read through for yourself, right? Then you go to the next phase, which is the most interesting one, whereby you get to like ask questions. So the first questions you get to ask so after you finish digesting the script is, first of all, is this script approved? Because sometimes agency could send you a working placeholder script that just to get them an estimate of what the budget could read and they could rewrite the script if the budget is over what they're looking at or if it's under what they're looking at. So. First of all, you have to confirm, is this an approved script, right? Um, the next question you need to know is, what is this job? Is it a TVC? Is it an infomercial, a documentary, an animation, a dub, a cut down, um, an end frame edit, etc.? You have to put that in your question. If you have a conversation with the agency, then you could like jump on the call with them and sort this out. If not, a good email detailing these questions would be great. You get um, Apart from the script, do we have a storyboard? Sometimes the agency provides storyboards that makes you like, this is how it's supposed to be. And based on your reels, why they're choosing to become the executor of this script. And if they have a storyboard, that adds to um, your understanding of how they see the world and how they perceive it. The next important question you have to bring to the table is, when is the deadline for you to submit your quotes? Because sometimes, depending on the script, you may need to do some research get the prices of, um, of several aspects of the script, whether from production design, your art department, to be able to know and put together like a, a very well-rounded costing that accounts for all the variables. And this also includes um, knowing the duration you would need to actually complete the entire spot. So the next question you get to ask is, when is the deadline for the treatment? And the reason why this question is important is you will need to know how much time you have to put together research, resources, and all the things that you require to actually get the treatment done. And that could vary from, sometimes it could be as short, I've been dealt days of pull out a treatment within 24 hours, you get. And it could be as generous as you have two weeks. So there's no like set rule, you just have to negotiate the amount of freedom. And sometimes these, are, these factors also determine whether you're up for the job, you're prepped for the job, or you think it's just too much rush of your work to be able to deliver your best. The next question is, What's the guide slash benchmark budget we have to work with? Sometimes it is usually, usually very helpful. If the client says we have X amount of money, we have 6 million naira, we have 10 million naira, we have 40 million naira, we have 70 million naira, and that's what we're working with. That would help you to maximize value you're bringing to the table in terms of how much you can put on screen, how much 
you know that okay if the, if the project is underfunded are there creative ways you can use to achieve this without actually breaking the bank since you already know the client budget is not enough because technically every client always says we're working on the budget there's never a day you at least from my experience i've never got a client that says here you go what you ask is what you get there's always that negotiation conversation and it's a three-way conversation because you have negotiation with the agency, negotiation with the client. So you talk to the agency, the agency push back to the client and there's this like back and forth here, all you guys reach like a consensus. But if usually there's a number, you could easily decide from the back that this is going to work given your own working style or it's not going to work. The next question you would, that would need to be in that mail that you'd be sending to them is, do we need cut downs? Cut downs like when you're done with like a 60 seconds version of the commercial, do, you, do they get to create a 30 seconds for an Instagram or a vertical for like a real section of TikTok and Instagram or they have a 15 seconds for the non-stoppable or even 5 seconds for the non-stoppable ad sections that YouTube has. So are they going to be cut downs? Because that would also affect your post-production budget to be able to account for all of those details. Then. Um, other questions you are asked, do, we, do you need a quote for still photography? There are jobs whereby both still and video happen at the same time. If you be responsible for that, if your production company be responsible for that, you would need to know. Uh, do we need to quote for music score or jingle or a music library? Right? If it's going to be a custom rhythm that's going to go with um, the spot, you would have to account for that. If it's just going to be some music license you're pulling off an art list a whatever you would also have to account for all of that in your costing if it's a foreign shoot and are we using foreign voices or we are using local voices it happens you get Nivea does some at least in the region and yet some of their voiceovers are usually foreign you get and other local brands like um, Noah or Maggie or whatever they could use like um, local voiceovers for it to be able to get like across in terms of pigeon in terms of the entire conversation that they would intend to be having so these are like part of the questions you would have to ask how long would the usage be for and what's the medium this question actually is very important because what you're speaking to is the rights of the usage of the talent faces on screen or billboard or whatever medium so if they are paying them is that payment going to be like for a year? Is it for like three years? Is it going to be for five years? Is it subject to renewal? Um, and what are the mediums you'll be using them for? Are you going to use them for billboard, print, TV, social media, and whatever other medium exists? Like, what does that um, negotiation cover for in terms of um, screen right usage for the talents that will be appearing on this spot? What channel will the TVC be flighted on? Where will it or what region of the world will it be used? So this is where it's also related to talent issues because if you're using like a very high profile talent, um, if you're not negotiating like global right usage in your contract, right, you would also have to specify if it's going to be like, okay, it's only limited to your country, which is terrestrial usage, you get. If it's global right, does that involve, that may incur more costs, you get. If it's going to be like for certain regions and does not cover certain regions, which is regional right. There's also that uh, those kind of conversation influence the quote, which is why you have to send all this mail to be well informed when you're coming up with a quote. What language will the TVC be broadcasted in? You get, and do we need quote for various voiceovers? So is there going to be adaptation of there's an English version, a Pigeon version, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, all those kind of versions? You would also account for that in your budget, or sometimes the agency may take up that responsibility and split the bill in terms of um, they handle the responsibility of outsourcing the views while you handle the responsibility of working on production. It depends on the relationship or what kind of platter you're served. Are any cast ambassadors or celebrities? If the answer is yes, do we need to cost for them? That's important because some brands have the already ambassadors that they are bringing to the spot. In that case, the brand usually gets to handle most of the costing fees that's related to um, um, that conversation that's related to the brand you get if they are not and you're the one hiring then you have to bear the responsibility of the cost and negotiations with um, the talent you'll be using you get and that covers like the entire question so when you send off all this email and put in a very nice polite way and send it all off to the agency the agency gets to reach back to you hopefully within a 24 to 48 hours window and you get all these details and now and because it includes your quote deadline and every other stuff now you're well informed to know how much time you have to actually do your research come up with quotes and move to the next phase of treatment so um 
if you like this content and it's been useful to you please leave a thumbs up and if you like to watch more of this kind of content subscribe to the channel where we actually get to like put on more